Hello, my dear friend. This is Father Tony coming your way again. I hope the good Lord is keeping you alive and you shall live and recount his deeds because you shall not die, you shall live. My dear, today I continue part two of when they declare you dead. I don't know how you feel today. I don't know how life's event have pushed you away. But I recall mine when I was in SSS, when I was declared dead. I recall back in Konfanochi when they told me that because of what has entered my brain, there was no way I could live. Either I was going to go mad or my brain would be rotten and I would die. I recalled one day my friends coming around me, praying with me and declaring that I will live again. And today, here I am speaking to you. I'm not a ghost. But when they declare you dead, you have to pray and live on and prove that you are alive. But with wisdom. I tell you, when armed robbers come around and they want to kill you, and you also tell them that I'm alive, I'm alive, in the time that you are going through strife, I tell you they will kill you. So bow out when your friends told you that you are nobody. When your relationship told you that it's over because you are nothing. Just be quiet in tribulation. Just be quiet in your temptation. Just be quiet in your testing. And I tell you that that same person who told you this will come and see you cry. Not a cry of tears, a cry of sorrow, but a cry of victory and a tear of joy. But there today the dead man who was declared off in 1997 is the one speaking to you. I tell you, you will have that same testimony if you can be quiet and move on with your life. I tell you, I recall again in, in Genesis 44 from, from, from um, 29 onwards to chapter 45 verse 1 to 5. It said, Joseph cried. I believe and declare on that you are going to cry again. The same tears that f- flow down your face when you're declared as nothing by job opportunity, by, by life events, by your parents, by your friends, by whoever declared you as dead. You will cry again, but this time it will be tears of joy. So rise up and live. I tell you, don't pray for doom for your enemies because God wants them to live longer to see your victory. Whoever it is that has declared you dead, who has declared you that you are not important, who has declared you that you have no importance to life, and so they they, they, they let you go, they didn't even regard you, pray for them, let them live. One day they will see you cry and they'll be calling you the Lord, the Madame. My dear, you will be the madam. You will be the Lord. Exactly what they said you are dead about. That is what you will live on. Rise, my dear. I am a personal testimony to this. If I were dead, then I tell you that it's a ghost that is speaking to you. I refused to die. I am alive. You will be alive. God bless you. May you live to recount the deeds of the Lord. May you live that the whole world will see the testimony of your soul, will see the testimony of your life. Today I declare upon your life that people will see you and see the manifestations of the goodness of the Lord. People will talk about you and they will speak of the witnessing that you have lived up. People will begin to hear you and hear the wisdom of the above because you will not die. You will live. Stop crying. Move on. God bless you to be what you are created to be. In the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen.